<laughs> hey, <laughs> I'm here with Sue. We are doing her birthday trip a couple weeks early this year because the young lady has to go back to school. Um, so we are at the uh, access to Sandy Inlet of Lake Temagami. <laughs> Lake Temagami, um, as some people we know call it. Um, and uh, we've got a campsite. Well, we're hoping to get a campsite just right across from the access somewhere um, nearby. It is about 6.30, 7 o'clock on Friday night. And uh, Sue just finished her course, so I had to wait for her to come out of Huntsville. And she passed, so yeah. congratulations to you. Thank you. Um, so we're going to meet Dave Wilfong, who already has a campsite over here. And um, he's uh, meeting us at a campsite just uh, across from the access. So we're going to hang out with him tonight. We brought a delicious dinner to share with him and some dessert. And uh, then tomorrow we might be heading out to do some exploring and camp on another lake. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. Um, so we're going to get going because we're in a bit of a rush. Uh, the parking lot here is insane. I have never seen this many cars here. They are parked all along the muddy roller coaster that you guys just saw a clip of us coming in. <laughs> and um, they're like, there's just cars everywhere. So I think it's going to be really busy. Um, so we're going to get going. Uh, we just have this small 300 meter portage to do to get to the water and uh, then we're going to paddle across the lake and um, I don't think we have very far, maybe two kilometers to go and uh, we're good to go. So we'll see you in a bit. Well, it's 6.45. We just dropped off our first load. Uh, Sue took the canoe and I took the food barrel and uh, a bunch of other little things and uh, we're just going back to get our backpacks. So. Uh, I know I sound like I'm out of breath because we're we're trying to hurry. Um, I don't really know why. Um, Dave Dave is already at the campsite that we're staying at tonight, and um, just don't want to eat dinner at like 11 o'clock at night. So cooking salmon tonight on the fire, and roasted potatoes, and asparagus is gonna be really good. I can't wait. I can't wait. All right, it is five to seven and we are on the water. Um, <laughs> the beach here is quite a scene. This side, very nice and quiet. Over here, behind Sue, there's a campsite that has three coolers, four tents, and they're playing, they're playing club music. Like I, oh wow. Anyway, we're going away from that. So um, should be over there uh, probably about 10 minutes. It's not very far at all. I thought it was a couple of kilometers, but I don't even think it's one. <laughs> all right, well, today I am christening my new Nalgene bottle. It will never fully take the place of Pinky, who is resting in the bottom of Pine Torch Lake. But first tomogamy trip, first trip with my new green bottle. Isn't it pretty? You know what's wrong with it though, Sue? What is? What's wrong with it? There's no stickers on it. There is, well, your sticker. This is mine. <laughs> There's no other sticker. If anybody there. wants to see their sticker on this water bottle, I will send you my address and you can send me one. We'll see how fast I can get this thing covered. All right, we have made it to the campsite in record time. Dave was here waiting for us. He's got his tent all set up and he had a nice fire going for us already so we could get dinner on. And he is showing me fire irons? What did you say? Fire irons. Fire irons. So basically, you need a wider fireplace for these ones. We have shorter sets, but you have the flattened ends and you have you build up on a flat rock. Basically, you want it that high up from the flame. You build your flat rock and then those flattened ends sit on the flat, the flat rock. But I don't really have good rockage here. Hmm. That's funny because there's just rocks everywhere. <laughs> this is not your standard campfire site. All right, we'll check back when it's done and see how it's supposed to look. All right, we got the potatoes on. They're in a little foil tin thingy. And then the salmon is over there. And it's probably going to go on very soon. All 
All right, the salmon's been on for a while and I think it's cooked. Just got the asparagus finishing up over here and got the mini potatoes. They look yummy, they smell so good. And they're really soft and mushy, so they're perfect. <laughs> well, it's 9.30 and dinner is ready. It looks really good. Um, the top didn't kind of get all brownie and caramelized, but hopefully it still tastes good. I tried to darken it with my lighter, but it didn't work. <laughs> I have a purple potato. <laughs> Look at it. I thought I was like hallucinating. <laughs> Apparently this is not a new thing, but I've never seen this. So cool. Where's your food? In my belly. <laughs> the, empty the empty plate's over there. <laughs> Yours too? It's in my belly. It's gone. <laughs> We ate it fast. Was it, it okay? was so good. Oh my god, it was delicious. Oh. <laughs> you liked it? I loved it. There's dessert. Fresh local I can't caught wait. salmon and tamagami. <laughs> Obvi. And, and uh, heritage well, potatoes. Mojag's got it in his belly too. Yep. Yeah. Yes, and the heritage potatoes were perfect. Oh, they were so good. They were nice and soft. They were perfect. They were they were the perfect yeah. cooked potato tonight. Yep. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. Thank you. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, we're making dessert and um, Dave kind of gave me the idea to do this. There's uh, tortillas and there's peanut butter, marshmallows, dark chocolate, strawberries, and you can mix and match and put whatever on, roll it up, roll it in the foil, and then put it on the fire. So let's see how it is. All right, our little burrito, dessert burritos are on the fire, and uh, do you think they're done yet? No. No? You just put them on. <laughs> I know, but I really want it now. <laughs> Patience. I don't have that. <laughs> What's happening? We're checking to see if they're done. Oh yeah. Can I see? A few more minutes. Marshmallows oh. are somewhat melted. That looks good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it smells so good. Oh my god. We haven't had any drinks yet. Can you believe that? <laughs> All right, my little burrito's done. It's drying it out. That's looks really it good. Kind of moist. <laughs> moist. It was moist in my hand. <laughs> Dave's um, grilling his because it was a little bit moist. <laughs> Too moist. How's, how's your it's dessert? It's melting very fast. Mm. You got some on your hand. Do I? Oh. <laughs> it's good? Mm, it's very good. You're welcome. Mm. <laughs> this thing right yes best dessert I don't know about backcountry because it's really messy but this is the best camping dessert I've had so far ever I think these guys both agree with me we've been well, like moaning gone. over these things <laughs> literally and so good but super messy but try this one this is good hi I have to be really quiet because it's like quarter to two in the morning. Um, just taking a quick video to say good night. Had a great night hanging out with Dave and Sue at the campfire, telling stories, talking trip. It was pretty awesome. We had a really yummy dessert and a bunch of drinks and we went out and laid on the rocks a bunch of times and we saw the meteors, which was really cool. Like. Uh, it's a whole bunch of them, so that was really neat. And the loons are calling, and uh, it's just beautiful here. So, Sue and I might actually stay here tomorrow night, too. We might not move. 
Um, might go check out a, a little lake in behind us and uh, spend the day there and do some fishing. So we'll see. Good night. Good morning from Lake Tamagami. It is 6.30 a.m. Saturday. And unfortunately, we do not have a site where you can see the sunrise. Well, Dave is up and he's just packing up his tent. He has some guests arriving to his place today, so he's heading out early. And Sue is still snoring away in her tent. <laughs> It's still very early. I'm going to resume doing that as well once Dave heads up. Okay, well, Dave is pulling out. He lives on Devil's Island at Kiwaden. If you haven't seen the video, um, I actually did a tour there. Uh, I think it was two years ago. Have a wonderful day. Hi, Dave. Yeah. Bye, Mo. Bye, Mo. Well, there goes Dave. It was really, really great to spend some time with him yesterday and we sat around the fire uh, till like almost two o'clock in the morning, telling stories and talking to Mogami and trips, and uh, it was pretty awesome. He was actually going to stay tonight as well, but he's got some company coming today, um, unexpected company that's dropping by at noon, so he had to head out. And then there were two. Just wanted to show you guys our privy. I have never in all of my life of backcountry camping seen a privy quite like this. Um, it's really weird looking. <laughs> and um, I does the job, I guess, but uh, it reminded me of, I keep saying it's like a, one of those Dickie D ice cream carts where you go and you, open the drawer and you get to see what, what ice cream you can get. <laughs> Except there's no ice cream in there. <laughs> Line broke? Yeah. I think we got most of it on video. Oh, he was like this. I way. saw him flopping over there. Oh. And then look, I was standing in there. I almost flipped up that this thing trying to run to get the camera. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> he was so big. That would have been that would have been nice dinner. I really don't want to have that mushroom pasta. Oh man. Okay, I gotta try that again. Got a fish. Oh jump. my god, it's a big one. Try to lean, try to lean to the right. It's gone? Oh no, he took Shh. my hook. <gasps> Ooh, 
somehow it's 9.30. <laughs> and uh, I've been working on the toast for a while. I actually pre-buttered it and it was all stuck together in a big block. Not that it's cold out here, but it just took a while to get them apart and get them nice and brown. Just got two of the eggs in and uh, just sitting here enjoying our beautiful view and a beverage. Good morning to Sue. Good morning. And I got my hot chocolate too. How's your breakfast, Sue? Mmm. First bite, delish. Delish. Second bite. Mm. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> what, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm putting on deodorant. That doesn't look like deodorant. It's an old chapstick. Like it's a cardboard chapstick. Oh, that's a really good idea. And I wonder who I got it from. I don't know. <laughs> Someone's video. It's me, it's me. <laughs> My camper, the tent always goes in a point right here and it looks like I'm wearing a tiara. It's like I'm a queen or something. Uh, it's about 10.30 and we've just finally made it to the canoe. We've got a day bag packed with lunches and uh, sunscreen and all that stuff. And um, we're going to go do a little portage. I think it's three. Is it 300 meters? Almost 400, I think. Almost 400 meters into uh, copper sand. Um, it's a little lake behind where we are. And uh, there's supposed to be a waterfall there. So we're going to check that out and uh, do some fishing. Maybe go for a swim. Just check out the lake and do some exploring. So off we go. We found a little waterway and we found the portage and there's this really cool canoe sitting here. It's pretty neat. It's pretty old. All right, we are on the uh, 400. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hi, Sue. I, we got the, I got the fishing rods. And we didn't close them up, so I keep getting them tangled in the trees. You know, I, I always forget. Yes. Ouch. It's a little portage. But tomogamy, there's no such thing. <laughs> it's very overgrown. I all my water socks on. My legs are getting scratched. Sue's behind me with the canoe. I've got all the things. And uh, the trail is pretty uh, rough. <laughs> Not difficult really, just overgrown. There's no campsite on this lake, so I don't think a lot of people go here. Okay, hang on, I gotta go. Well, after a very uh, challenging portage, surprisingly, not surprisingly, it is Tamagami. Um, we've made it to Copper Sand Lake. It is extremely tiny. <laughs> Um, we came to do some fishing. We thought we'd do some swimming. We might not do the latter, but we'll see. You got something, Sue? We, we fish. <laughs> this is beautiful. We are like literally on our own private little lake. All right off of Lake Tomogamy. And yeah, um, we got tons and tons of scratches on our legs from that Portage. I should have worn my water socks, but um, this is pretty cool. Like, we got our own little lake all to ourselves. Beautiful. Well, we're fishing, but we're not catching. <laughs> um, we've been here almost a couple hours now, and uh, things aren't really happening. We don't even have any bites or anything, so um, it's lunchtime. Got my prosciutto wrap with some ha moo, and uh, Sue's back there eating pasta thing. Where? I was just swimming. Huggy. <laughs> Anyone want some frog legs? I see some tasty frog legs. 
He thinks he's hiding, but we can see him. So the portage over to Copper Sand um, goes around these waterfalls um, and this very, very shallow uh, creek <laughs> um, that you obviously can't go down. It's really pretty. I like the um, like the shapes of the rocks and stuff. Yeah, it's very tiny. I really want to go sit under there, but <laughs> it's quite the obstacle course to get to it. There's down trees and stuff everywhere. and. I said to Sue, maybe this is where we're supposed to go fishing at the bottom of the waterfalls, but clearly I'm mistaken there. <laughs> oh well. Oh, it's 20 after 1 and we have just completed the obstacle course portage back from the lake that we went catching on, but only fished. So we're back on Lake Tomogamy now and we're going to go do some exploring and get in the water. That water wasn't really nice for swimming, so here comes Sue with the canoe. A couple more scratches on her legs, <laughs> but no worse for the wear otherwise. And I think we're both happy to be back here. <laughs> That's me happy, see? Well, we came out of the portage over there in the corner. Um, over there in the corner, so I can't see it from here. And uh, we found this beautiful spot to go for a swim. There's like really nice rocks here, and um, it's got like a nice little entryway, and there's some sand. And we're gonna go for a swim, right, Sue? Yes. We got little chairs here, like we can sit on, and it's pretty nice. There's some loons out in the water, and it's nice and quiet, and there's no one here. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous day. Sue just spotted a beautiful bald eagle up in the tree here. It actually just flew over. His head is, his head is covered by a branch right now, but Sue's paddling my gondola for me so I can film. <laughs> There's his head. It's quite a large bird. So, Sue and I just re returned from our day tripping adventure, and um, there are four canoes on our campsite. There's no people, we have no idea where they are, and or why they're here. Everything seems to be intact, like our stuff seems to be all here and everything. Um, I, don't, I don't know what's going on, neither of us know what's going on, we're both shaking. Um, we're a little bit scared because you know, we don't understand what's happening here. Um, trying to kind of keep the benefit of the doubt in my mind and just say, well, maybe they don't know any better, but there's uh, two white canoes here. That's what we saw when we pulled up. So we got our campsite here all flipped over. All right, it's five o'clock. We've been sitting on our campsite for an hour waiting to see who owned these canoes. It was two separate groups of people. It was a group of four people. Uh, a lady who seemed like a guide, maybe from Winnipeg, and um, there was, it sounded like French, French speaking French people. Speaking people. Yeah. And then the other two canoes belonged to um, like a family, and there was a very, very old woman with them. So then I started feeling bad, because I was kind of, you know, but the, the guy came out and he's mm -hmm. like, 
oh, we feel like we're kind of invading your privacy. And I'm like, I kind of feel like that too. <laughs> like, I don't know. Apparently this is a trailhead. We saw the lookout on the map, but it's beside the next campsite past us. Not this one. So, and we've got an FOT map. I've got a, a Friends of Tomogamy, um, a Jeff's map. I have a Backroads map book. Yeah, and it's not on any of them. No so listed I don't know, but a 90-year-old lady knows where this trail is. <laughs> There's obviously a reason. So we just kind of said, you know, have a nice day, and off they went. And now we're going to go back out fishing. I really want to have fish for dinner. Let's go. Let's, Let's go try. Let's try and get some fish. That would make my day. Yeah. Oh, we have been fishing all day, on and off. And Sue finally caught a fish. <laughs> yes. I was not going back there until we had one. I don't want to have pasta for dinner. I want to fish so bad. Uh, it's a good size. It's about the size of the one I caught at Little Brother. It gave me two nice size fillets. So we're going to see if we can catch some more. Going back to the scene of the crime. She's cleaning the fish for me. Isn't she so sweet? I need to practice. I don't know <laughs> what for because I don't catch any fish ever. So one fillet is done. Yeah. And the second play is just about to be complete. Need to sharpen your knife. <laughs> you do need to sharpen your knife. It's alright. It's doing the job. It's dying from misuse. <laughs> we did Seems just to... clean a fish a couple weeks ago. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, it's stuck. <laughs> Here we go. We have two fillets. Excellent. <laughs> well, our fish fry just got foobarred. <laughs> um, I went to get the mashed potatoes I brought, and I realized I only brought a half package because it's, I just have like a standard fish bag that I bring. It's got oil, fish crisp, and a half package of mashed potatoes in case I get to have a fish dinner. And there's two of us, so half a package of mashed potatoes wasn't enough. So I thought, okay, well, I have the pasta here, I'll just toss it with some olive oil and some garlic and some salt and we'll have it with the fish. So I gave Sue the fish to put the fish crisp on it, to coat it, and she saw these little black dots in the fish. Well when I was cleaning it, I, we were like, I was like, had like the sun beaming in my eyes and I had like my sunglasses on, I didn't see it. I was just trying to clean it and get back out on the water because I was all twisted on this rock and anyways. We've decided not to eat the fish because we think it might have worms or something. It's got little black dots in it and uh, neither of us want to get sick. So uh, we're back to making more El Mushroom Pasta. <laughs> well, um, due to our fish catastrophe, <laughs> uh, we were having the original meal planned, which is uh, more El Mushroom Pasta uh, with shrimp. I've got some morels from the spring that I dehydrated that I'm just rehydrating. Uh, I've got some black trumpet mushrooms that I've had for quite some time that I'm rehydrating. And uh, I've got a can of shrimp here. Um, and then I also have a whole bunch of butter. So I've just finished cooking the um, pasta. It doesn't take very long. It's just like the nesting noodles that I make all the time. They're really fast. So they're cooked now. I'm just going to drain them uh, and set them aside. And I'm going to take the frying pan. I'm going to put some butter in here, melt it. And then I'm going to uh, simmer and fry up the mushrooms. They have to be, um, moral mushrooms have to be cooked for about five minutes minimum um, to remove the toxins from it. So uh, I'm going to do that. And then basically I'll just toss in the shrimp and toss in the pasta and done deal. Oh, and lots of garlic, uh, roasted garlic powder, roasted garlic flakes, and some salt. And that should be good. All right, there's the finished product. It doesn't look like much, but I think it's pretty tasty. I tried a little bit. Sue's shoveling it in. <laughs> yeah? Mm-hmm. Good? Mm-hmm. Nice, you got the sun setting right over your shoulder there behind you. All right, enjoy. Mm
Oh, we're just chilling by the fire. Sue made a really nice fire here uh, while I was cleaning up. And uh, as you can hear, we're being serenaded. We set up the tarp over here. We had a hard time finding a good spot. Um, we both think this is a, a pretty good spot. We just need some place to cook in the morning and you know wait out the bad weather until we can leave. If it's bad, it's supposed to be thunder and lightning tomorrow. So that's it. We're just in here having a drink, finally relax, and back once again tonight are the delicious tortilla dessert wraps. Uh, the strawberries were a little funky, so we decided to skip those, but we've got chocolate marshmallows and peanut butter, and we're going to roll them up and stick them on the fire. Yummy! Sue's on dessert wrap watch. She's making sure they don't burn. Hi! Well, it's 11 o'clock and i um, in the tent. Uh, Sue and I just said goodnight. We had a great day. Beautiful summer day here in Tomogamy. Fishing on that little lake today was so nice and there's no one around. Uh, we had some tragically hip playing. It was just beautiful. Uh, went for a great swim a couple of times. Sue caught that fish, that was awesome. Um, sadly, we couldn't eat it, or maybe we could have, we just didn't know. So, better to be safe than sorry. And um, tomorrow we got thunder and lightning forecast for a good portion of the day, and lots and lots of rain. So, um, I don't want to wait too long to leave, because that road going out is like a roller coaster, as you guys saw from the video on the way in. And... Uh, if some of those puddles fill up with water, that's going to be messy and there's a lot of cars in there. So I don't want to get stuck behind anybody um, or anything like that. So uh, you know, probably wake up at my normal time and you know, Sue and I will make breakfast and uh, we've got the tarp set up. And then when it's safe to go, we'll probably head out. So um, we'll see what happens anyways. But I am wiped. I'm going to bed. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Say good night, Sue. <laughs> I knew she was listening. Good morning from Lake Tomogamy. It is Sunday, 6.25 a.m. Sprinkled for a few minutes around 5.30 and then it stopped. It's supposed to be raining right now. But it's not. Well, it is 6.45, the sun is up, and uh, it's still not raining, so Sue's awake now. We're going to um, start packing up, and uh, hopefully we can get out of here before uh, the rain starts. All right, we got everything uh, pretty much packed up. We're just under the tarp, but it still hasn't started raining, which is awesome. You can feel it in the air, though. It's really thick. Um, Sue's making up breakfast. We've got uh, a bunch of eggs and some bacon. Um, going into a wrap with some two-year-old cheddar and they're just about done. We're gonna sit here and eat and then um, pack up the rest of our stuff and head up. Well, it's just like three minutes to eight. <laughs> we got the canoe all packed up. We uh, decided to load it over on the side um, with the steppy rocks instead of the slopey rock because it was really <laughs> slippery and if it would have started raining we probably would have wiped out. Um, it started raining as we were loading the canoe and it's just like sprinkling really lightly. We've got like maybe a 10 minute paddle to the access, so we should be good. I think we should be good. Okay, do you want to do a recap? Ooh, recap. Yeah, sure. Uh, it was a great trip. <laughs> Short. Short. We had other plans whatever. when we got here. We were going to go do um, 
uh, let's go paddle on Saturday and go stay at another campsite, but just due to a lot of situations, um, the access road was jammed. There probably was like 50 cars there and we have a really nice campsite and we just thought with the bad weather coming in today, it was kind of silly to paddle away from here and then have to paddle back in thunder and lightning and we didn't even know if we'd get a spot. So, uh, what's your favorite part of the trip? Uh, swimming in like really clear, warm water. Yeah, Lake Tomogamy is crystal clear. This part of it anyways yeah. was. And the salmon, salmon dinner. You always say food. I know, I always say <laughs> The salmon was good. It's always the food. <laughs> I really enjoyed um, camping with Dave Friday night. That was really awesome. Um, you know, he brought us some wood from his cabin, which was great. So we didn't really have to process any wood. And uh, hanging out with him in Mojag Friday night, we had a blast just oh, sitting around so sharing stories by the fire, watching the, watching the meteor shower, the shooting stars. That was really cool. And uh, it's just a great time. We, we wanted a kind of semi-relaxing trip. We wanted to do a little more adventuring. We did explore yesterday. We had that fun portage that we did. Um, which was much easier with just day tripping stuff. Yeah. Um, to go try to catch a fish on that little lake that didn't Isn't have any fish. No. I don't think I got one bite or nibble there. Sue caught a fish, but we didn't get to eat it, so that sucked. Oh, eh, well. It was entertainment. It was fun. Yeah, it was a good time. Well, so we'll do a bit more filming when we're paddling out and stuff and on the portage, but I just want to do the recap here. People are probably all uh, crashed out on the beach and stuff sleeping over there. I want to get through that road before it rains too hard because it was already pretty mushy when we came through on Friday and uh, I don't take any chances and get stuck. So um, mm -hmm. let's get going. All right, let's go. Okay. Saying goodbye to our beautiful campsite. Thank you, Miigwech. And off we go. We've got beautiful mirror waters almost here on Lake Tomogamy this morning with some nasty clouds rolling in. And uh, I think we're going to make it out just in time. Bye, campsite. Thank you. Bye. Absolutely gorgeous out here right now on Lake Tomogamy. You can smell the rain coming in, but it stopped raining and we've got mirror. Just a really cool looking sky. All right, we have arrived at the portage and uh, haven't got dumped on yet, so this is great. We're gonna start making our way to the car with our stuff. Well, it's 8.45. Sue and I are just on the portage doing our second load. She's got the canoe, I've got the food barrel. And uh, parking lot's surprisingly already full of people. They're kind of all splayed out in the parking lot with their stuff everywhere. So hopefully by the time we get the canoe on and stuff, they'll have their stuff cleaned up and we can just take off down the road. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Bye. Bye. Well, Sue and I were on our way home from Tomogamy, <laughs> and uh, we were driving right past uh, Magnetowan and thought we'd stop and say hello to Tori and Wesley. And so we're here saying hello and having a bit of a chit chat, and uh, we're there. Bye. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please click the subscribe button. Also click the bell for notifications. If you'd like to get more information on the stuff I use on my trips, please check out my website at camperchristina.com. Thanks. Bye.